So our next stop and the highlight of our trip is the Tillamook Cheese Factory. And it is still windy out here. Oh, and dusty. Stop throwing rocks. Stop. cheese factory today. Emmett's already kind of crazy over here and he hasn't even had ice cream yet. So it looks like there's chocolatey Stay there. All of you. Cheyenne, what do you want? Cookies and cream? Cookies and cream? Or cookie dough? Cookie dough. Cookie dough. For a single. It is absolute chaos here. So many people. And then a double uh, mint chocolate chip and tell them what it looks like. Uh, white chocolate raspberry yum, and then um, s'mores if they have any. Thank you. All right, I'm gonna get a, the double of uh, s'more and white chocolate raspberry. Okay, white chocolate raspberry and cookie dough. Thank you, sir. We have consumed so much ice cream and cheese, and it was delicious. Woo! Look at that, I almost just stepped in ice cream. I just thought your wife was being mean again. You know, Stacey just like shoves me over. What's up with that? All right, goodbye, Tillamook. We're off to Seaside. And apparently, Emmett thinks this was a casino. After two and a half, almost three days of driving, we finally made it to Seaside. We have to run to the store, 
get some stuff for coffee and maybe margaritas because that's what I want. All right, so I just walked a mile down the promenade here, down Seaside, collecting pokey stops. I just got about 20 of them. I'm gonna wait five minutes here at the end of the pathway to wait until this last couple I just got restart. And then I'm gonna walk all the way back down the other side, all the way into town. As I sit here waiting for my pokey stops to rejuvenate, I am thinking about going back to the house on the way back, getting the kids and maybe taking them down to the water. We haven't really gone down to the beach and played in the water yet. I know uh, we're waiting for some family members to get stuff together and figure out what they're doing. Um, and then we'll head down there. All right, I've done my five minutes waiting. Now I'm back on my uh, walk to the other end of the promenade to go do some more geo or uh, Pokemon. -y. And I think I'm gonna look up a couple geocaches too on the way back. I know there's a couple on this walk. So I left the house earlier because nobody wanted to come with me. And then when I got back to the house, everybody was back down the beach. So now I'm gonna make my way back down to the beach and see if I can find everybody, see where they're all hiding. I almost tripped on a rock there. So it sounds like Uncle Chris got himself a kite and the kids wanted to go down and fly it with them. I think I see the kite from here, up over the hill there. We're gonna go check it out, see what they're doing. So it's maybe about day about exploring and checking things out. And my phone just went off again, so it's probably mom telling me, hey, go back to the house and get something. All right, well, it's closed. I just checked my phone. It was definitely mom. She was uh, just letting me know they're down in the water. They're gonna go splash in the water. They don't have swimsuits though, so they can't actually go swimming. I don't know why they just didn't bring it all down now. Let the kids go play. I am so out of shape, I am having a hard time breathing while walking and talking in the sand. What is up with that? They All right, we're barefoot in the sand. We're gonna go play in the water. The kids are already getting wet. Wet. Kids are getting wet. People flying kites. People up and down the beach, birds, mom, kids. Oh, that water is cold. Woo! some cold ass water. Woo! It's so cold it's August. It's not supposed to be this cold. here barefoot playing in the sand in the water trying to catch crabs the unfortunate thing is none of us are actually manly enough to reach down and grab the crabs so when we see them we just kind of like poke at them we haven't actually caught one yet Whew. but we're having fun kids are up here building the fort everybody's in the water bugs a lot of bugs in this water it's kind of gross Whew, there's something Here's a broken shell. How exciting. Hey, there's a couple more down there too, yeah. There's more down there those birds just try to go get. All right, we spotted more crabs. We're gonna see if we can find them. We're chasing. We're not the only ones chasing the crabs. The birds are crab crabbing too. They just kind of appear everywhere, so you gotta run after them. Trying to grab him by the back, he still can get you apparently, man. He gets you with his back paws. Claws. Come here, good bud. Damn it. Oh. 
Oh, there he goes! There. there he goes! He's upside down! Come on, dinner! <laughs> Right? Yeah. We successfully caught ourselves a crab. Now we're going to put them back. The catch and release program here at Seaside, Oregon. All right, dude. Go ahead. <laughs> He's like, no, I don't want to go back. Very well, crab. So I have adventured away from the house. I'm down here, I'm getting ready to build a bonfire, watch the sunset, take some cool photos, waiting for the family to get down here. No idea when they're gonna get down here. I told them I'm gonna go down, they all kind of sat around. They had to wait for some clothes to dry, and then once the kids get pants, they'll come on back down. Just not quite clear enough to get a good time lapse, but there is a beautiful sunset here at Seaside. Camera. <laughs> 